Dover. Dover. It's your girl Caroline. And I'm Justin. And welcome, welcome to, to the Dover, Dover Daily. Daily. Today is Friday, April 26th, and it's a B day as in bullseye. The SAT word of the day is belated, meaning past the normal or proper time. The athletic department is looking for a high school student to work the PA system at modified track meets. Please contact Mr. Kenny, Ms. Santafonte, or Ms. Kringer if you're interested. Prom is on the way. If you're in need of a dress or suit, please see Ms. Feynman for more information. Attention all high school students. There are only a few yearbooks left for sale, so order yours today. They are $75 and can be ordered online at www.yearbookordercenter.com using the code 13187. Or you can bring in money to Mrs. Kelly. Don't miss out. There's an opportunity for ninth graders on May 4th at Haviland Middle School in Hyde Park. They're holding a program of hands-on leadership development. If you're interested in attending, please see your high school counselor. Mother's Day is coming. Bracelets will be sold from May 1st through May 8th for $8 each, or $7 for students. All profits will be donated to the Great Smith House in Poughkeepsie. Now on to Ryan with middle school updates. Good morning, middle school students. It's me, Ryan Holm, with your updates for today. If a middle school student reads three books on grade level, they can earn a free New York Red Bulls soccer ticket to the game against Chicago Fire on June 28th. That's all I have for today, and now on to Carlos with college updates. Good morning, Dover. Seniors, make sure you are taking advantage of any and all scholarships available. See guidance with any questions. The Eastern Duchess Road Runners Club scholarship is available to any graduating senior who has played a sport all four years of their high school career. The deadline for this application is May 1st. Please complete it and hand it into the guidance office. See guidance with any questions. Sophomores, you are invited to attend a three-day conference, which will be from May 31st to June 2nd at SUNY Oneana. Scholarships are available to defray the cost. Please see your high school counselor with any questions. The University of Maine will be visiting on Monday, April 29th, beginning at 10.30. Stop by in front of the dining hall to speak with the representative. Also, the 14th Annual College Fair will be held on Tuesday, April 30th. We are expecting over 60 colleges, universities, and military recruiters to attend. Now on to Hunter with ESDN. I'm John Parr, and welcome to ESDN. Congratulations to Logan Coon throwing a 97-10 in discus and winning the event for Dover on Wednesday's track meet. Also, congratulations to Brooke Leary, who won the girls' shot put with a throw of 700 miles. Today, Modified Baseball and Modified Softball have games at Millbrook, and Varsity Baseball has a game at Pine Plains, all at 415. Come support. Now on to Alex with the weather. Good morning, Dover. I'm, uh, I'm Alex with today's weather. Today it'll be 62 degrees with periods of rain showers. Tonight it'll be 43 degrees with a possible thunderstorm. That's all I have for today, Dover. Now back to Caroline and Justin. Let's check with the cafeteria about today's lunch. All right, lunch for Friday, April 26th. We are gonna have pizza tomorrow, pizza day. And if you buy your lunch tomorrow, Everybody buying lunch gets free ice cream. There'll be ice cream with chocolate sauce or butterscotch topping tomorrow. Our salad of the day is going to be a BLT, BLT salad. Vegetables will be summer and zucchini squash and oven roasted broccoli. Um, and for the faculty tomorrow, we'll have a chicken sandwich. Thank you. And a big happy birthday to Madison Colombo and Aiden Somewhere. And a special happy birthday to John Cena. And his name is John Cena! <laughs> Belated. <laughs> happy birthday to Melania Trump. And on that note, have a fresh Friday, Dover. Bye. A lot of things have changed over the years for the Dover Band. We've personally been there to witness many of them. The important thing to us, and many others like us, is that this program continues for years to come. When we come back after how many years we are gone, we hope to see the band as strong as ever. We would be mortified if we came back 20 years from now to see the band gone. The band is the pride and joy of the school and our lives. Thank you for watching our feature. We hope that the band will continue to prosper. I'm Miles Williams. I'm Tyler Pelican.